Hey guys, welcome back to the Upgrading My Parents PC video series. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on the actual upgrade process. Let's get started. So for this project, I decided to upgrade the two pieces of hardware that are normally bottlenecks on most systems, and that's the hard drive and the RAM. So I picked up an Intel SSD 320 and 2 gigs of DDR2 800 MHz RAM. So we'll start with the SSD. It comes in this anti-static bag, which is pretty nice. And uh, once we get it out of there, we'll see it's all metal, pretty nice finish, but looks like stainless steel, and has everything you would expect on the sides, has the screw holes, SATA 3 port up front with the power connector, um, and it's, you know, standard SSD. Now we'll move on to the RAM. It again comes in an anti-static bag. Um, if you'd like, you can hold on to those, and you can pretty much store any old parts you may have laying around. It's, it's good for that kind of stuff. Um, and if we look at the uh, label up front, we'll see it's 2 gigs DDR2 DIMMs at 800 megahertz. The brand is kind of irrelevant. Um, it'll get the job done. So now that we've gone over the hardware, let's move on to the actual upgrade process. So first things first, we're going to remove the power and the SATA data connector from the old hard drive, and we'll use that on the new SSD. We could possibly leave it connected for an SSD hard drive combo like you see in a lot of modern PCs, but my parents don't really keep too many files on the computer, so the space on the SSD should be enough for them. And I also want to make the computer as quiet as possible, so removing the hard drive will help with that. Um, I didn't have any brackets for the SSD, so I just stuck it in one of the hard drive bays for now. Next, we move on to the RAM. I didn't have to remove any parts from the PC for this one since I'm simply adding RAM to the computer. So for this part, it's super simple. First, I release the brackets that are on either side of the slot, and then I line up the dims with the notches that are on the board. Then I press down firmly on both sides of the stick of RAM until I hear both brackets click down. Once I hear this, I know the RAM is securely in place, and then I can start with the next stick of memory. It's really that simple. So before I move forward, I want to give you guys an idea of what this computer sounds like when it's on. So, as you can see, this thing sounds like a refrigerator when it's turned on and idle. To help remedy this, I'm going to clean out the CPU heatsink uh, of the dust that's caught inside between the fins and in the fan, and I'm also going to be removing the hard drive, which I already did when I put in the SSD. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like after I cleaned everything out, but as you can see, this thing is just covered in dust. So the paint of heart should look away at this point, but this is all of the dust I was able to get out from under the fan and in between the, the heat fins on the heat sink. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit, and this is what the heat sink looks like now. Much better, as you can see. I did this by taking some compressed air to it, blowing the whole thing out, and also with a toothpick and a damp cloth, I was able to get in between and get a lot of it out. I think it's going to run a lot quieter now. So here's what the inside of the case looks like after everything is said and done. As you can see, it looks a lot cleaner, a lot better. I pushed over all the wires to the right side of the, uh, the case so they don't get in front of or in the way of any of the, uh, the fans. Um, I did this by taking a can of compressed air to it and just blowing everything out real good. And keeping the inside of the case clean does help the fans and help all the airflow run much better. So I do think that the computer is going to run a lot better with just this cleanup. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this episode of Upgrading My Parents PC. Just like last time, I'm going to leave an annotation on the screen for the next part, and I'll also leave one for the first episode in case you missed it. If you guys have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below, and while you're down there, drop a like to support the channel. If you guys like what you see and you want to see me more, feel free to subscribe to the channel to be updated on more awesome content. I'll catch you guys in the next one.